Safi, karibu tena double updates mtazamaji wangu popote pale ulipo. Mimi natumai unaendelea vizuri kabisa. Naitwa Mr. Double J na kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa. Na kwa sababu hatuna muda wa kupoteza, inabidi nikupe taarifa hii hapa fasta fasta. Kule North America mambo ni ya moto kweli kweli na mambo ni kama haya. A considerable portion of Kenyans who departed the country seeking refuge in the North American nation now find themselves among hundreds of immigrants compelled to reside on the streets of various Canadian cities. Kenyans who fled to Canada now living on streets. Mambo ni kama hayo, alafu utakutana na mtu eh anakuambia Ruto anafanya kazi mpe muda. Eh Ruto ni mzuri kuliko Uhuru Kenyatta. Eh hii nchi economy imekaa vizuri sasa hivi. Eh alafu huyo huyo Ruto atakwambia namna ambavyo nchi za nje hmm? wanam, wanamsumbua tu yani wana request vijana milioni moja watu milioni moja kutoka Kenya huwa wanawafanyia kazi alafu wanalipwa tu kila mwezi. Watu wanadanganya ukishadanganya una safiri unaenda huko ngambo ukishaenda ngambo unakuwa chokoraa. Unakuwa unakaa kwenye street haueleweki. Alafu mtu anakuja kutuambia namna ambavyo serikali eh, inafanyia watu kazi. Hmm, yaani uaga na shangaa sana Kenya direction ambayo tunaye tunaelekea sasa hivi. Yaani kama sio uongo, hakuna kitu kingine ambacho tunaambiwa na mtu ambaye tunamuita rais ambaye ni William Samoei Ruto. Uongo ukweli kama ni uongo, mimi bwana uaga sikatai mtu kunirekebisha. Utanirekebisha hapa chini kwenye sehemu ya comments. Kama anafanya makosa nitakubali kwamba hapa nimemwekelea na nimefanya makosa. Sio bwana. Lakini kuona watu wanakuwa kwenye street huko Canada Alafu hapa kina mtuo hapa hawa foreign affairs wapo tu wapo tu hapa kina mdavadi kazi ni tumbo tu kufurisha tumbo na kusema namna ambavyo they are laughing right now yeye yeah, na kina wetangu la wakiwa huko western wakiwa kando ya William Samoeuto kwa sababu wana enjoy maisha majamaa hata hawezi wakafungua hata posho mil moja kakamega waajiri hata watu majamaa hata kwenye senate kina Amazon King ndo maspika huko sikiliza wanachokizungumza mle ndani jana si nimekuwa nimekuwa disappointed jana eti kingi ameweka watu wazima ambao wanakula milioni milioni moja kila mwezi mshahara wana discuss namna ambavyo baada ya uchaguzi huwa kuna watu wanaenda protest so wanataka kuisimamisha hiyo idea ya mtu anaposhindwa yani awe yani aliyeshinda ndo aende whether ameiba hajaiba yani mpaka nikashinda kuelewa brothers hatuna kitu cha kudiscuss kwenye kwenye ma... Hatuna vitu vya kudiscuss kabisa. Senate watu wanapoteza muda. Bunge same thing. Watu wanakina watu wanadiscuss vitu vya kijinga jinga tu. Aya, watu wamekwama huko Canada kwenye street. Mnajua watu wamekwama kwenye street huko Canada? Aa, mnajua watu wamekwama na, mna, na nataka niwaelezeni kwa nini wamekwama huko. Story ni ndefu. Ni aibu na I'm very sure mainchi za nje ngambo Najua sometimes wanakaga hivi alafu wanamsikiliza Ruto. Ruto akisema venye wanataka watu zaidi ya milioni moja. Yaani wao wanafanya kazi wakiwa tu huko alafu wanalipwa and wanacheka tu they are like oh jamaa anaambiaga vipi? Nini hiyo anaambia watu wake? Eh? Eti sisi tuna kazi yani eh tuna kazi sisi. So wao watu milioni moja wao wanafanya sisi tunawalipa. Bro, acha nikwambie kitu kimoja izi nchi za nje pia kila mtu ana matatizo yake. Inawezekana wako juu. Inawezekana kuna mtu ni tajiri anaendesha gari kali lakini ana, ana ugonjwa fulani wewe ukipewa unasema eh heri hata niachane na mali yake mimi basi nikae tu maskini. Kila mtu ana matatizo yake. So usipelekee mtu matatizo yako ambayo unajua kabisa haimhusu na hawezi akakusaidia. Usikwa mnanielewa. So Ruto ana maneno fulani hivi matam matam tu yani ya, ya, ku, ya kushawishi. Ona sasa watu washadanganya washasafiri unasafiri tu kwa sababu ulishaambiwa watu milioni moja wanatakana. E tunataka kukaa karibu na wao sasa kwa sababu ukiwa Kenya ndo unaona kama process ni ndefu. Sasa unakaa karibu nao ndo upate pesa. Utakuwa chokoraa, baki tu Kenya uangaike kama unavyoangaika sasa hivi. Na bado mjadanganywa. Ni aibu kwa nchi, ni aibu kwa nchi. Ukiona na, ukiona vitu watu wana, wana discuss. Ukimuona Ruto, yani leo hii msikiliza Ruto anaongea namna ambavyo anatishia anatishia rai hapa. We mwenyewe uta, uta, utaona tu sehemu hapana. Huyu atakuwa na kasoro fulani. Hakuna haja ya kumtishia yule mtu kwa sababu anatupa nafasi. Kina mama, kina baba wanapata nafasi pale. 
wengine tunasomesha watoto na huyu jamaa ndo kabisa analipa watu wetu mshahara kwenye vitu hivi ambavyo ye mwenyewe katuletea kama makampuni yake haya ya kutengeneza sukari, masimiti, mambao. Unanisoma ndugu yangu? So tunaelekea hapa baya mi I'm telling you. Tunaelekea hapa baya sana. Yaani kama wewe uko hapo na akili yako unaamini kuna nchi ambayo inataka vijana milioni moja wawape kazi na hao vijana wanatakiwa kutoka hapa Kenya ndugu yangu wewe anza tuku, we anza tu kufanya mambo yako usifikirie yani hata usi, usione kama Ruto yuko serious in fact akizungumza Ruto focus kwenye opposite focus sana kwenye opposite ndugu yangu kuliko anachokizungumza sasa hivi Ita, utasaidika akikwambia kuna watu milioni moja wanatakiwa waende wafanye kazi sio wapi ichukulie kama kuna watu milioni moja hawatakiwi huko So hakuna haja wewe kuenda au hakuna haja wewe ku apply. Watu wame apply, kuna makonmen wameingia hapa kwenye online kwa sababu Ruta alikuja na hiyo idea. Idea mwenye, wewe unaonaga ikifanya kazi, niambie watu milioni moja, niambie hata watu moja washapata kazi ambao Ruta ametangaza miezi kama tano iliyopita. Ah wewe niambie, si si amesema eti kuna watu milioni moja wanatakiwa kufanya kazi sio wapi? Niambie. Sasa badala tusikilize watu moja wamepata kazi, kitu ambacho tunasikiliza ni kuna watu wanalala street kwa sababu walitoka hapa wana Oh, jamaa ah noma sana mimi nakwambia ni noma so hapa kabla hata sijakupa hii story eh babu unasema ni mtulia haya kabla hata sijakupa story namna mambo yalivyo huko North America jamani uh, sasa hivi tushafikisha mabati kama saba yes tumefikisha mabati kama saba kwa sababu kwenye video ya kwanza nitaka mabati 25 Uh, kwa ajili ya shoshu wetu hapa unaelewa eh shoshu wetu hapa anaishi na rafiki yake 5 years sasa hivi na aliniambia bwana kijana wangu mifura yangu kubwa itakuwa ni umenitengenezea tu sempa kulala sempa kulala sem mtakuwa na kaa nitashukuru sana kwa sababu ana nyumba ana yani ana land ndio lakini ana nyumba anaishi na rafiki yake for five years rafiki yake pia anahangaika kama yeye sasa mwisho siku nakuta maisha inakuwa magumu kiasi ya kwamba ni noma zaidi ni noma mara mbili unanielewa so hapa shosha anaitwa um, Sarafin and um, uh, Sarafin hapa bwana anaishi na Rose Rose ni huyu ambaye yuko yuko mbele afu kule nyuma eh utamwona uh, Sarafin ndio Sarafin ndo ana tuomba kabisa tumjengee hata kanyumba kadogo tu ndugu yangu unanielewa sijui ni shosha alafu ana mtu ambaye anaweza kumsupport na nini so mimi nilikuwa naonaaje mjengea hata ya, ya nani ya udongo tu so lazima iwe ni, ni, ya, ni ya nani ya ya bricks ama mawe na nini a a mti tu tunataka miti uh, mabati fulani sio hata ni wape shout out watu wawili watatu hapa mm, shatunulia mabati hapa mimi nashukuru sana ndugu zangu hakuna kitu kizuri kama uh, kuona mna Uh, fanya vitu, vitu vikubwa i think nita nitawapea shout out kwenye video ambayo inafuata eh kuna watu tayari ambao washa mwingine ame, amenunua mabati mbili mwingine amenunua uh, moja wengine wameshikana shikana hivyo wengine bado waendelea kufanya hiyo 50 bob challenge tulitaka watu 25 so far i think tumefika watu i mean nilikuwa nataka watu 500 right watu 50 bob ndio tufikishe mabati 25 kwa sababu hiyo ni 25000 uh, piga hamsini piga na watu 500 utapata 1025 so 1025 hapo ni mabati 25 so far tuna mabati saba. inamaanisha tunahitaji mabati kama ngapi hivi kama 10 kama 18 yes tuwasalia mabati 18 so kwenye video hii naomba tufanye hiyo challenge ya 50 bob Kenya shilling tufanye hiyo 50 bob Kenya kwa wale ambao hawajafanya mimi nishafanya na nashukuru ndugu zangu wengine hapo washafanya tayari. Wengine wameenda extra kabisa wamefanya hata mabati mbili. Unaonielewa eh? So tunaweza tukafanya hivyo. Weka yako kupitia details ambazo zipo hapa kwenye screen. Tumjengee shoshi nyumba, si ndio? Hatutakuwa tumefanya makosa. Hautakuwa umefanya makosa kama umetoa au kama utakuwa umetoa hiyo hamsini yako. Tumjengee kanyumba kadogo, at least alale vizuri. Um, uh, Rose na Sarafin wanatokea huko Kano. Kwa wale ambao wanajua Kano ni wapi? Huko bwana matatizo ni mengi sana na inabidi shosh akae kwenye nyumba nzuri maisha yake ambayo yanasalia si ndio so i think tutabarikiwa sana i'm sure tutabarikiwa sana kama tutafanya hivyo so kesho kwangu 
uh, kesh, uh, kesh nyingine inaweza kawa ni uh, kwako mzamaji wangu and tukisaidiana hivi naamini tutafika mbali sana si so kama hujafanya hivyo jamani fanya kupitia details ambazo zipo hapa sio shinaye alale kwenye nyumba yake it's five years ana nyumba and uh, naamini kila kitu kitakaa vizuri sana so niende tu direct hapa so hapa unaambiwa kwamba every month plenty of kenyans embark on journeys overseas driven by the aspiration to secure improve opportunities and a better life for their families mara nyingi watu wanasafiri hivyo kwenda tu kutafuta huko kutaendaje but ni wachache waga wanafanikiwa usione mtu yuko nje ya nchi ukadhani eti sasa anaishi maisha mazuri sana hivyo ni tunaendaga watu wanaendaga tu kutafuta i'm very shock na watu ambao wako nje hapa kuna wengine ndio walibarikiwa wamepata namna ambavyo wana survive kuna wengine wamekwama mpaka leo hii tunazungumza yani vitu vyendi unanisoma vitu vyendi kabisa So, unakuta wanangangana wengine wanatamani kurudi wengine ndio hivyo wamekwama but tuna president ambaye anadanganya kwamba eti watu milioni moja wanatafutwa wewe umeona hata watu moja hata hamsini tu umeona wamepata kazi huwezi ukaona kwa sababu hakuna kitu kama iko ni uongo uko naambiwa so hapa recent reports shed light on a concerning situation eh? a considerable portion of Kenyan individuals who, uh, individuals who departed the country seeking refuge in Canada now find themselves among hundreds of immigrants compelled to reside on the street of various can- uh, Canadian uh, cities so you can imagine uh, according to a report published by the Toronto Star tens of Kenyans are currently stranded in Canada a notable portion of uh, these imag- imag- immigrants have conveyed that their attempts to return have been hindered by delays in a passport processing Mm-hmm. Uh, passport. So some sought refuge in the uh, North American nation due to threats on their lives and the uh, 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 stigma they faced while in Kenya uh, proceeding to Canada the report indicated that the Kenyan hopes hoped that a change in environment will enable them to start afresh Where? Noma Noma Sasa skiza according to uh, Reverend Al Alexa Gilmo of the Protestant United Church of Canada based in Ontario who spoke to the publication she is one of the few people extending assistance to those left to uh, endure the harsh weather condition while living on the streets the well wishes provide essential support in the form of food clothing and other fundamental necessities to those in need where hii ni noma hii ni noma so umeona yani huko yani sasa tunasaidiwa kuna watu huko wamejitolea kununulia watu chakula na labda vitu afu serikali yani tunayo jamani kwe ni noma mimi nakwambia ni noma hapa watu washaanza ku campaign 2027 Ebu nipe maoni yako hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments. Hii hapo unaonaje? Huko nje watu wanatucheka. Wakiona Ruta anasema eti kuna wanatucheka sana mviri sure. Lakini watu wanaangaika tu. Nipe maoni yako hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments lakini kikubwa zaidi subscribe ili uendelee kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati. Bye bye.